guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be bringing you a video on the new Nixorix Playouts figurine. Um, I just got it in the mail today, been after it for quite a while, and um, yeah, it just came today. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's open it up. Uh, Nix, obviously being from Final Fantasy XV, um, Final Fantasy XV storyline, and the Kingslave movie. He's actually one of my favorite characters um, in the whole Final Fantasy XV universe. So uh, yeah, this should be exciting. Let's get into it. Okay, so came in a cardboard box, as most things do in China. Um, I did open it up just to see, just to see how it was packaged, and it seems okay. So let's go. Ah, Jesus, I don't need you anymore. Um, so it's just wrapped in this. Okay, so here it is. Here's the front of the case. Oh, might need to zoom out a bit for that. Um, and this is actually from Japan, I think. You can see the back, it's all in um, Japanese. I don't know if you can actually read that, but there's uh, some Japanese on there. And anybody below the age of three shouldn't be able to play a bit. So, yeah. Uh, okay, so let's open this up. I think I've these just pop open. Yeah. Oh, sweet. That's really cool. Okay, so it's got like, I don't know if you can see, you're not going to be able to read this, but there's like a little bit of a story about Nyx on the inside uh, cover, like over here. But then we've got him in this plastic right here. Yeah, that looks really, really, really cool. So, let's open it up. Okay, let's, let's get this bad boy open. I do, I do have a couple of these already. I have the um, Noctis from Playout, same same series as this one, and also Cloud. But the Cloud that I have, I think, is from the Advent Children movie, not from the Final Fantasy VII game. So, oh, let me pull this up gently. Is there anything else left in there? No. I like the box. I like the packaging that they do. I still think it's it's nice. I think it's a nice box. Okay, so, you're going to be able to see this, you can see it's all wrapped up and then it's got instructions, oh and the base is at the bottom, so this is the base that you build it onto, it goes on here and puts it up and it's, oh, I hate building these parts because they're so like tricky, but it's good. Um, I'm probably just going to put him together, probably won't put the base together in this video just so you can see him because I guess you're not really bothered about the base. Um, but there's instructions like down the side of how to do it. Um, and then everything else is in Japanese. Okay, so let's get him open. There's like a lot of stuff that comes with him. I'm going to show you everything that, uh, that's in there obviously. Just going to try and get this off out. Oh, it's in with tape. You can actually replace his head with his uh, the helmet that he wears. But I think his, I think the detail in his face is pretty cool, so that's probably what I'm gonna use when I display him. I've got all my toys set up um, around my PlayStation and uh, up on my counter over here. So actually, he's got his hands. There's three different sets of hands. It's closed ones. I'm not going to be able to see those very well. Some closed ones. Um, yeah. Some closed ones. Some open ones. And then there's the ones that are already on him that I guess you just take out. Um, what else do you get? Oh, you get his daggers. So it's called Cockris. Cock uh, I forget the, how to say the name properly. But these look pretty sweet. These actually look really, really sweet. If you can see them. Maybe get a bit closer. Then we have the alternative head. Oh, sweet. They actually did put like his face underneath as well. Oh, I don't know if that's supposed to come off. Oh yeah, it does come off, but yeah, you don't want to take it off. So there's like a, so it's like his head here. I don't know if you can, maybe we're getting a bit closer. Um, so this is like the helmet thing that he wears and you can actually take the front off. But I don't know if you can see, it looks like he's screaming. <laughs> So, I'm guessing, I don't know why they've allowed you to take that off because it doesn't look good without it. Okay, so now, 
Let's check out him. Oh, usually they, when I get them, they're, they're held down, but this one wasn't. Oh, he looks badass, man. Oh, he's got something else in here first. Oh, it's just a placement for his daggers, so you can uh, put it there. So, yeah, he looks pretty good. Like, the detail in him is pretty spot on. That's pretty awesome. They got him. Yeah, they did him well. Anyway, let's uh, guys take a look. Oh, and his cloak comes off as well, his hood. We'll just keep that on. So, well, a lot of it is moving. So this is him. I don't know if you can get in a bit closer. I'll try and get a better, better shot of his face. It's pretty cool. Like uh, his hair looks pretty dope. He's got um, his hood on. His head down, but I, I don't think it goes up. Um, and then, so let me show you the back. You can see there. And now the front a bit better. There you can see. He looks pretty awesome. Like they've got the detail really, really well. They've done the detail really, really well, sorry. So it doesn't move so much. But yeah, he looks, I would have to say, uh, he looks better than the Noctis that I have, um, feature wise. Um, sorry about that. I think someone's outside my door. Um, so yeah, I think he looks really awesome. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if this is gonna. Yeah, there you go. As you can see, they got his hair down to a T. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try and show you him again because uh, the light in this is making his face look a bit weird when I when I put it up last time. I just checked, so um, I'm gonna put him up close with the light on. Then I'm gonna turn the light off so you can get a better picture of his face because his eyebrows are quite light. So with the with the bright light on it, it makes it look like he hasn't got any eyebrows or like facial hair, but he does. He actually looks pretty spot on. Um, so that's that, but I'm gonna turn the light off quickly. It's gonna get a bit dark, but uh, yeah, here we go. I don't know if you can see better now. His face is tilted a bit forward, so let's see if I can just get him in. So that's his face. I think he looks pretty spot on from, uh, from, from me anyway, from, like, from what I can see here, he looks really good. His eyes are like super blue. So sweet, I'm gonna add him to my collection of Final Fantasy Play Arts toys. And uh, yeah, I'll probably be ordering some more of these. Um, if there's any you want me to try, if there's any you want me to buy and uh, unbox and show you, then uh, let me know, let me know in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll definitely get on that. But yeah guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Peace out.